this presentation we're going to show you how to create this rotary y-axis. I have two CAD files I've used previously, a handle which is an STL and the headstock which is a parasolid. So I'll drag and drop these into AlphaCam. See these have come in as a series of solids and the STL. So we'll switch off that handle for the moment. We'll start by creating the T-slot table. And for this we're going to extract some geometry from this solid model face. Using contour around pick faces, select that face. I wish my table to be 16 millimeters thick, so we'll just offset this geometry. We'll offset these sides by 45 millimeters. We'll now use the break command just to break these geometries at the end of each one of these horizontals. And then we use the fillet command with maybe a two millimeter radius on just to complete the base of our T-slot table. So we'll look on the work plane and then we'll delete the geometries we no longer require. And finally, we'll join the ones that are left remaining. Back into isometric view. Now we should extrude this, so we're going to machine, machine configuration, define machine component, select the cross section geometry. We'll call this T slot. We're going to extrude that by 1550. It's not going to move and it's going to be part of the table. Now I wish to move this, it's a good tip to click it at the end of the profile. The base point is 0, 0, 0 and the new position I want to move that positively 1550 in Y. We have now created our T-slot table. If we open the machine by clicking on show machine configuration on the static side of that we can now see that we have our T-slot table. And now I'm going to create my tail stock. So for that I'm going to just rotate my headstock and the spigot about Z, 180 degrees. We now move our spigot onto our tailstock, about the midpoint of there. We're not moving in X, and I wish the Y to be the same as the end point of here. Finally, we'll switch on our STL handle and we'll move that into position. And I want to go from 0, 0, 0 to the midpoint somewhere on here. We'll now move the components of our tailstock, including the handle, tailstock, spigot, and the logo from the midpoint. the back of the tailstock to the end of the T-slot table. Now we'll define each one of these machine components, stating whether they move, whether they're static, or whether they move with the tool or the part, and whether they rotate and which axes they rotate in. We'll start with the chuck going to Define machine component. Now this is going to move with the part and rotate in Y. And the same will apply to the jaws. It's not actually moving anywhere in X and Y and Z, it's just rotating. You can say the same with those components. This isn't going to move with anything and it's going to be part of so it's part of the base or the axis mount. And we'll repeat that with the logos. We'll come back in and edit those later. And we'll make sure that the spigot also rotates with the part. I also repeat that process with the tailstock. 
Next we need to define the machine configuration. On the machine we'll set the machine configuration, the movement of the tool is in X, Y and Z, there is no rotation in X, none in Z, but we want to rotate around the part in Y. And we need to define the machine axes. To define the machine axis I'm going to create a polyline from x0, y0 to x0, y500 pointing in the y up the y axis and then we come into machine define axis at the bottom it asks me a prompt select y axis for part rotation and that has now defined it. It's important to remember to save the machine I'm going to save this as rotary B axis. So we'll open this machine, rotary B axis. It's one I created earlier. We'll see under the machine configuration under layers, I've changed some of the colouring. You could customise your machines. We'll insert the part. Zero, zero, zero. I then send it to the new simulator. And we'll run the new simulator. This concludes this presentation. We can show how we can import solids and STL files, extract geometry from them, then use extrusion command within AlphaCam to create components which then can be defined as machine models. Thank you for your time.